have you lost your unmanaged solution let's first understand the meaning of managed and unmanaged solution managed solution are those solution which can't be customizable where you can't do any customizations whereas the unmanaged solution are those solution where you can do some modifications like in the development environment we do the customizations into the existing system so it means the solution present inside the development environment are the unmanaged solution whereas when we move the solution towards the production we expect that no development work or no customization would be done on the production side so we move the managed solution so the scenario is if we accidentally lost the unmanaged solution it means the solution where we can do the customization we have lost that and we only have the managed solution but that managed solution will not allow us to do any customizations and it's easy to get the managed solution from the unmanaged solution solution but vice versa is not possible so hey everyone this is prashant chaudhry i welcome you all to my channel classic power app in this video or in today's session we'll see how we can generate the unmanaged solution from the managed solution okay so let me just take you to my power platform screen here you can see i have a puc test solution this solution is of type managed it means i can't directly customize the component present inside the solution and i have lost the unmanaged solution for this particular solution what i need to do i need to create a unmanaged solution using these components only so that i can do my configurations or any customizations so there is a possible way for that so it's just a work around so let me just see tell you how it will work you need to go to the settings okay let me just make the duplicate of this screen first go to the settings or maybe don't go stay here only and then first go back create a new solution and add this solution name as uh, poc unmanaged unmanaged solution Publisher, I'm using some default publisher and then create. Once I have created the solution, now my work is to add the components into this solution. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll go to my settings and advanced setting. Inside the advanced settings, we'll go to the solutions i can see this poc unmanaged solution which i recently created open this and here i have an option to add the existing i'll just add the existing as an entity we remember that the table are used to call as entity in the nmix crm so we select the entity now we have the list of the entities present inside this environment so let's see here and see the table name is solution test table we come to this one and search for the solution test table it's like solution test table. here it is let me just add this okay and then finish i have added my table here second component is my flow my flow name is poc test flow i come back to my solution and then add existing now it would be of type we call the power automate flows as the processes go to the process and search for the poc the name of my flow was poc test flow just add it here click ok now if i come back to this chrome this is just a new user experience refresh this and i can see now 
I have two components added to this solution. Okay. Now I can still see the properties as managed as yes, yes. Okay. Now I, I again go back to my initial solution, my original solution, and I can see I have one more component which is the application, the canvas application. So let me just add this canvas application directly from here from add existing app canvas app and the name of the app is poc test app add this now i can see i have created a solution where i have all the components whose properties manage type but i can do the modifications if i open this table I can see that it has opened the table for me and I can add the column very easily but if I go to my original solution if I go to this add it add it see it has disabled the button for me by seeing the pop-up that it's a managed solution and you can you can add it only the unmanaged solution okay so I got the solution where from i can do the modification now what i can do i can come back to this and then export this solution out from here and it would be an unmanaged solution because i need the unmanaged solution and i can export this now it would download the solution of this into my system as a unmanaged type later i can import the unmanaged solution into another environment which we use as a development environment okay so it will take little time to download the unmanaged solution to my system then i need to just use the typical approach to import the solution into the environment okay so that's the that's the process we can use in order to get the unmanaged solution from the managed solution because this unmanaged and managed it's just a layer that applies on the top of the component that are there in your solutions okay so that's how you can generate this so i hope this video you find it helpful so thanks for watching this video and have a nice day bye bye